Hi everyone, last month I went to the Jehovah's Witness District Convention. I received one of these on my doorstep and I also received a couple more from some Jehovah's Witnesses who I met on the street. Now I am not a Jehovah's Witness, I am a born again Christian filled with God the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ has dramatically changed me from the inside out and has changed my life. And so one of the reasons why I went to the district convention was because Jesus commands all Christians everywhere to go out and preach the gospel. So I'm just trying to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because while I was at the convention, I took some footage of the preaching done there, and I uploaded it to YouTube, and some comments that have been made are from people who are calling me an apostate, I'm ignorant and that I do not know Watchtower teaching. Um, others are asking me why am I being so hateful and only targeting the witnesses and others are asking me why can't I just bring them into my living room. So this video is for you so you could get to know me better and if you comment on this video or if you message me then I could get to know you better too. Um, as far as an apostate goes, I have never been a Jehovah's Witness. I was never baptized as a witness. I've never even been inside a kingdom hall. So I'm not an apostate. And I do not hate the Jehovah's Witnesses. I love them. And Jesus Christ said, you must be born again. So whether you are an agnostic, or a Buddhist, or a Mormon, or a Jehovah's Witness, Jesus Christ said, you must be born again. So unless the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells within you, you do not belong to Christ. And if you do not belong to Christ, then when you die, you will spend eternity separated from God. And so my concern is for whoever you are, you must be born again. And if you're not, you will spend eternity in hell, whether you believe in it or not. And this is my motivation in talking with the witnesses, and not only the witnesses, but anybody. The Jehovah's Witnesses are not the only ones that I talk to. I talk to many people every day who hold all sorts of belief systems and are from all sorts of backgrounds. Um, about a year ago, a Jehovah's Witness came to where I was working at and we got into a conversation about who is the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit an active force as the Watchtower claims? Or does the Holy Spirit have a personality like the Bible teaches? And the conversation was going pretty good until she stormed off. And so three months later, another Jehovah's Witness had come and we were talking about who raised Jesus from the dead. And the conversation was going good until that same lady from the previous time came and pulled her away. She grabbed her arm and she said, come on Clara, she doesn't believe like us, let's go. And I was just like, whoa, like what are you doing? You're pulling her away. And so that's one interesting experience that I had with them. Another is, like I said, I'm a Christian and I go out and I minister to all sorts of different types of people. And where I go out and minister, um, usually, the Jehovah's Witnesses in my neighborhood like to congregate together. So I like to go up to them and get into a conversation with them. And I've made a few friends. It's been a year and we could get into almost hour, hour and a half conversations. And so that is also another way that I've interacted with the Witnesses. Because I'm just trying to make the point, what you see in the videos is not the only way that I interact with them. Um, several months ago, some Jehovah's Witness ladies came to my house and they wanted to talk to me about God's paradise earth and how God is going to create a new theocratic organization and how I should be a part of it. These ladies came three weeks in a row and the third week we talked about who is Jesus Christ. And they told me that they were going to come back. One lady even wrote it down on a piece of paper and they did not come back. That's their deal. Um, now I didn't use a bullhorn when they were sitting in my living room. I 
offered them some water, one actually used my bathroom, I didn't have any signs when I was talking to them, it was pretty simple. Um, if you notice on the back of their literature, they have two options here for you. One, without obligation, you can request the copy of the book shown here. And two, please contact me concerning a free home Bible study. So, I went on Watchtower.org a while back and requested a free home Bible study, which I later found out was actually a book study from What Does the Bible Really Teach? Two girls came to my work, because that's the address that I put, and they were very nice, but I thought I had requested a Bible study, and they just wanted to get to the book. This book, I've read through it, talks about different Watchtower doctrines, and anytime I would ask them a question and they couldn't answer it, they didn't go to the Bible. They would go to their literature. They would go to their reasoning from the scriptures, or what does the Bible really teach. Um, when they would tell me they would go do research on a certain subject, they would bring back a piece of paper that was actually printed from a CD-ROM that they have that's not available to the public, and she would read it verbatim, and it kind of concerned me that they couldn't hold a conversation with me without looking through their magazines or through their books. And I never brought this up to them, maybe I should have, because they weren't going to the Bible. They were going to somebody's interpretation of the Bible. They were relying on man's writings and not God's word. And so they came for about three months and they stayed each week for an hour, hour and a half, and they were very nice. And the last week, one of the girls brought somebody who was older than her by 30, 35 years. And this older witness was just really mean to me and told me that it was pointless to talk to me and I told her that I was concerned for her and she ended up storming out and took the girl with her. She was around my age and she didn't even let the younger girl get a word in and they just ended up storming out and she was yelling too and one of the last things I said to them was you can come back anytime. And so that still stands if you're a Jehovah's Witness who has ever been to my house or my work. You can come back anytime. The invitation is always there. Um, and as I was standing there, because they had come for so long, I was just like in shock. And I pretty much burst into tears because I couldn't believe what just happened and how she acted. And so, again, the reason why I tell you this is because... I have quite an idea of what the Watchtower really teaches. I've had meetings with the Jehovah's Witnesses. I've had them into my home. I've had them come to my work. Anytime I see them on the street, I go up and talk to them and offer them some Bible-based literature. I don't know if you could read that, but it says, Have you believed another gospel? And that's my question to the Jehovah's Witnesses. Is it possible that you have believed another gospel? I offer this to them, and they refuse. And I say, well, how about I'll take one of your magazines if you take one of mine? And they still refuse. Now, some have taken um, some of my gospel tracts when they're alone, but the majority of the time they refuse anything that I have to offer. One has called me a dead person. Another has called me the bad slave. Um, I'm not afraid to read other religious literature, and so neither should you. If you know that you are in the truth, then what do you have to fear? Nothing should move you. And so I read through this literature, and I also go on Watchtower.org, like I said, and I read the articles that they have there. Now, even though some witnesses have called me names and they've treated me mean, I must say, when I was at the convention, I had lost my Bible. I, and I informed Lost and Found there, and they got it back to me. And so, I just want to 
thank the Jehovah's Witnesses that I got my Bible back to me because that was like a uh, 